Hello, my lovely. This is Miss Joyful coming back to you today. Today is Saturday. I think we're in February. Yeah, we could be. I didn't look at the um, date. I haven't looked at the date today, but I'm pretty sure because Friday was the 31st. So yeah, we are in February. Can y'all believe that already? So I think it's day 19. Yes, it could be day 19 for me. So I'm gonna tell you guys some of the stuff I've been going to, through. Um, good. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing, actually. Um, one of the things I do love here lately that I can literally look at myself and actually see a change. I don't have to guess anymore. Am, am I actually changing? I can literally see it. Like today, I got on some jeans. And these was the jeans that I used to have to, um, I used to have to put a rubber band on my buckle to kind of pull it up. Oh, I can't, I can't see it. Let's see. See my buckle is all the way closed. And I can pull it out just a little bit. Oh, shoot. Almost the ball over. But it's all the way up. So, I have a little, a little room. <laughs> I'm so excited about that though, because mm -hmm. these pants are all the way up on me. And I have a little room. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so, but as you guys know, if you're following me on Instagram, yeah, I can see that it's been three days maybe three days um, that I've been um, basically just 15 pounds down to 36. Um, and I'm just taking it as my body is definitely, definitely re, just re-collaborating, re-thinking about this set point that I'm at. Um, Cause actually, if I think about it, this is actually one of my set points. I was, I would constantly be at um, 237 and right now I'm 236. Another set point used to be 233 all the time, 233. So I haven't thought about like what I'm going to do when I come to these set points. And, um, <clears throat> cause anytime in the past, I used to get really freaked out. Like, Oh my God, my goodness, I'm doing something wrong. But no, for some reason, I haven't been feeling that way. And I don't know if it's the difference. It's just because I've been fasting and it has got me a little bit more in tune with, um, with myself and why I wanted to eat and all of that. Let me tell you guys what happened yesterday. So I was going to have yesterday to be a, um, a complete fasting day um, to see can I just break out of this stall. Uh, or a set point, um, which I don't think it really is. You have to be like weeks in a certain weight in order for it to be considered a set point. But the way I have been losing weight, like every other day, I would lose a pound or a pound 1.8 every other day. <clears throat> and I was doing that for the, uh, the first 14 days. And so um, then, um, like I said, the last three to four days, it's been just basically 15 pounds, which is really good now because you have to realize you are fasting. So usually when you start eating, you have to worry about the fluctuation of the water weight and you, you know, dealing with a whole lot of issues. And um, I, I know for sure it's because that I have not been coming off a of fast day going straight into full blown eating or um, and I heard somebody on the video talk about that a long time ago, and I didn't really know what she was talking about because I'm not going to be fasting. <laughs> but um, now I understand what they mean by, you know, not fasting, then binging. You know, I'm not doing none of that, no. So 15 pounds is a good amount of weight, and not only the weight, but it's really beautiful inches. Um, and... So to be able to get off a fasting day and go to a, a keto day where I'm either eating a salad, farmhouse salad. So this is what happened. Okay, I'm sorry. Yesterday, I 
I was going to make it a, a second fast day because I had fasted the day before. So yesterday I said, okay, I'm just going to do a second fast day so that, you know, I can kind of see, can I break through the stall? And I don't know why, man. Everybody and their mamas want to offer you food when you're fasting and they don't even have to know. I don't know. I think it's some type of trick of the enemy because <laughs> he don't want you in that clear mind space. I don't know. I, but everybody wants to feed me. And so my boss called me and say, I want to take you to the farmhouse. I'm going to pay. And I'm like, eh. so instantly in my mind, I didn't automatically say, oh, I'm about to go and eat whatever I can eat. I'm, I feel very in control. So I'm like, well, I just get a cop salad. Okay, who cares? I'm not, you know, I've been the same way for two days. I'll just get a, um, a cop salad and I'll just make that my meal for the day. So because I hadn't told myself now you're about to get a salad. Now that was like 9, 30, 10 o'clock that morning. Now because my mind no, now you're not fasting. You're actually going to get you a salad at lunchtime, 11 o'clock. My body, here we go. Going to overdrive. 11 o'clock came. I text her. Okay, are we going? When are we leaving? Still getting my hair done. She was like, still getting my hair done. Okay, 11 o'clock, okay, 12 o'clock, okay, 1 o'clock, okay, 2 o'clock. At this point, my body was <laughs> pretty much raging. Like, you said we were going to eat. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, and okay, 2.30 coming. And I'm like, come on, no. I could have just told myself, no, you're fasting, and my body would have been fine. Because it knows, okay, you're not going to get nothing. But because I was like, okay, you're getting a salad. Now it's just set on that salad. It's set on it. And so by 2.30, still getting her hair done, I just took off from work and I said, I'll, I'll just go to farmhouse. They have the best food. They have the best meat, everything firm, firm raised. Um, no antibiotics. Just the food just tastes so amazing. Like you eating a cow straight from the source. <laughs> Um, so I go there and I'm still waiting, still waiting, sitting in the car. It's three o'clock now. And I'm like, okay, where are you? Where are you? So I happen to have some peanuts in my car. I end up eating like two handfuls. Why am I hollering? I end up eating like two handfuls of honey roasted peanuts. So at this point, I'm just like, and then I said, I'm just going to go in there and order the salad. And I'm just going to wait for it. She can come when she come. So I tell her, she said, no, I'm coming. I'm on my way. 3.30 now. I'm like, yesterday was toe up. I mean, at, <laughs> at that part, you know, by that time, it was kind of toe up because I had, because I had already, I've been waking up so extremely early for some reason because I don't know, this fasting thing has kind of thrown my sleep off where I'm waking up an well, hour earlier than I originally wake up. I usually wake up at five, I've been waking up at four. And now for the last past two days, because I've been um, going through this situation, I ate that, like I ate the salad yesterday at um, 3.30, four o'clock, whatever, whenever time they brought that out. Then now the only thing my body wanna do is go home and go to sleep. Although it was just a salad and I didn't even eat all the salad, I literally, um, a half of the chicken that they have on grilled chicken. They had um, eggs. I ate a couple of pieces of eggs, some avocado. I didn't even eat the whole salad, but because I had woke up extremely early, I ate the salad. And I'm like, I'm just going home and go to bed. It was raining. It was cold. I'm like, and it's Friday. Ugh, I was like, I'm going to bed. So of course I get home. I wanted to make a video, but I did not go to sleep. And I wake up again. I go to sleep at around about 6.37. I didn't wake up again until like, I woke up again at 2.30 this morning. So that is so not cool. Um, so I have to kind of get out of, I'm going to have to break it this weekend. Somehow I have to break getting out of this really early waking up because I'm getting up and it's kind of then throw me off a little bit. Um, okay, so um, going into the stall, not freaking out giving my body a chance to um, to settle into the new weight, to the new set points. And I was telling myself, well, I'll just go ahead and just do a second day 
Um, Y'all know this weekend is a Super Bowl weekend. So I was going to do yesterday and the day before. I did the day before and then yesterday. But of course, I told y'all what happened yesterday. So I didn't do yesterday. So today. So going into tomorrow, you had a Super Bowl. And so I think, again, like I said, I don't feel like I'm out of control and I want something all like I'm just going to really tear the food up. No, I just probably just do something um, keto. I'm still going to go through the same morning. I'm going to go because um, I have church in the morning. So I'm going to do my coffee and everything like normal. We usually don't get out of church till around about 12 o'clock, 1230. So I'll be making it home around about one o'clock. So I probably still I'm still going to definitely do the intermittent fasting tomorrow. I just have that one meal during the like the super bowl time and just let it be over with and then go back into the monday again um you know go back into monday as my fasting day um so we shall see what next week bring i i am coming up on um well it is night day 19 so i am hoping like for one month i did want to be down at least 20 pounds so um is day 19 and i'm thinking that could happen you know um i'm gonna try to see what i can do some of the stuff that i can do um even if it's going into like a second day to kind of like break a stop stall or whatever i pretty much got the feel of how my body is working with this thing um and so i don't feel deprived i don't feel like i'm overdoing it i didn't have somebody to say that's way too much weight to lose at you know you losing too much weight at one time um well I, I was i'm really obese i mean i'm i have a lot of weight to lose i have over over 50 pounds to lose so um i understand the losing the weight fast and everything but like i said as long as you're doing it right you're not feeling like you're about to i'm not feeling like i'm about to faint my my mental state feel very stable i don't feel like i'm out of control i don't feel like i'm binging i don't I think this is the best state of mind I have been into. And I, I know I even talked about um, keto. I talked about ACG. Um, keto is, is really stable for me, um, you know, far as keeping me out of that binging thing. And that's why I would really hope that most people don't get into the whole fasting and feasting type thing, because that can be dangerous and lead into some other serious issue. But I, I don't seem to be having a fasting and feasting issue. Um, I literally, when I'm coming off my fast, I'm literally going into a keto style meal, um, whether it's a salad or, I mean, and so it's even like when I have my little snacks, I pre-make my keto snacks. Um, on my Instagram, y'all see I make those little sugar-free whipped cream. And in between, I have like a cream cheese I made with a melted chocolate. And then I have a few, a few walnuts on it. And that, I mean, I don't have, I don't have a feeling of out of controlness. I can eat one of that. And they said by you fasting like that, it keeps your body in a way with your blood insulin level. You, you know, it's, it's really good now. So when I eat food, my body literally say, okay, you fool, that's enough. And so same thing with yesterday when I ate my salad, I didn't even finish my salad. You would think if I had a whole day of fasting, y'all would have been like, I'm going to eat everything in my sight. Um, I noticed on the days where I was doing one meal a day now, I did feel that. If I, um, and this was way back when I would try to do one meal a day and I would feel so like I'm just going to eat whatever I want because I, you know, but it haven't been that way with this a whole complete cycle day and then eating a meal or something the next day. I feel more in control than eating what they call an old man diet where you would eat your one meal a day. Most people say they feel like they losing, they want to lose control because they say, if I've been fasting all day, I'm going to eat whatever I want. So I haven't really had that. And I'm so, so thankful that I have not had that because I know how it can be where you can be completely out of control. I have noticed though, and really quickly, I have noticed that I do um, on my day that I know I'm going to eat. I do not drink a, a whole lot of electrolytes. Um, I'm not drinking my broth. I noticed that I did that one time or twice before I came to the realization, why are you doing that? You drinking extra sodium and you eating, which already have enough sodium in it. And so it was 
causing the weight to fluctuate the next day. And I'm like, ooh, so what's happening there? And so I realized, oh, I don't need to necessarily do that on my eating day. So on my eating day, but then I noticed if you do not drink enough water on your eating day, again, you will not have a nice waist lo weight loss or on the next day. So you just do still need to drink a whole lot of water. I never thought that water really made a difference. I used to think that everybody just making it up, but I'm so sorry it actually has made a difference, especially on my fast days, I can tell. But like I say, on my fast days and drinking all that water, oh my goodness, I promise I have to use the bathroom over 20 times. The most annoying thing, but I'll know it the next day, I know, because if I use it that many times, I know I'm down 1.8 uh, minimum the next day. But if I do not drink the water, of course, it don't go down and so these are some of the things that i have been um working along with i have been so happy with the progress i have been so happy with seeing um and i actually been taking a break even for the exercise too okay so yeah i have been on my fasting days these it was the last two days i did not exercise so i'm gonna give myself a break because the weight kind of stalled out a little bit and I said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a break. I don't, I'm, any other time I would wanna go harder, go harder to see the scale drop, but I've kind of been wanting to back off a little bit, don't push myself past, cause I'm already, you know, people will consider this extreme weight loss. So I'm not trying to be extreme. I'm really just trying to get in touch with my mind and why I eat the way I eat, um, um, eating for emotional re reasons and things like that. I'm getting in touch with all of that. And I'm really loving the headspace that I'm kind of finding myself in. So I know we're already at 16 minutes. And it is like I didn't talk about a bunch of nothing, but it's okay. I wanted to tell you guys today how I felt and how I've been doing since I've been stalling um, or, you know, trying to get past the set point. And everything is okay. I'm going to definitely post on my Instagram as soon as it drop again. Okay, you guys. Until next time, have a blessed day. Bye. Okay, you guys, this is that Cobb salad that I was talking about from Farmhouse, January the 31st. This is the leftover of that salad that I ate the previous, the following day. And me in those pants pulled all the way up. So happy. Thank you.